This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa. The Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Jimmy. What's going on? What's happening, man? Talk to us. All right. Here's the problem. I met this wonderful girl named Sharon, right? Beautiful, man. Smart. Everything I thought I wanted. And we went out to a wonderful dinner. We had a great time. We had great conversation. Everything went amazing. But the problem is, after our date, I can't get her back on the phone. She won't answer my text, anything. Okay. So let's talk about this date that went amazing. Okay. Well, I took her to a really nice restaurant. I'm talking about a nice place. It's kind of place where after the meal, there's no doggy bag, okay? It's not tacky like that. Yes. I mean, even the waiters have on suits. So I don't know. Maybe she got, you know, a little... Maybe intimidated by how much you know, you know, money I spend, and you know, I look good and whatnot. So <laughs> maybe that's it. I just don't know what went wrong. Okay, so I just want to get this straight. Um, she's not calling you back because the date was so amazing, and, and you look so good that she was intimidated. Well, I, well I, I dressed nice. I like expensive things, and I took her to a really nice place. Maybe she was a little intimidated. That's all I'm saying. I just can't figure it out. So you tell me. I just don't know what other reason it could be. I'm just trying to help you, man. <laughs> just trying to help you. But you know what? Okay. We know. Here we go. The date was too perfect. That's his guess. <laughs> um, we'll try and call her next. Hello? Hi. Uh, can we speak to Sharon, please? Sharon, who's this? Perfect. Uh, please, Sharon, do not hang up. Uh, my name's Romero. I'm here with Pebbles and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot 96.9, a radio station. And if you give us two minutes, I can explain. It's nothing bad. Trust me. It's, it's all good while we're calling you. Can you just give us two minutes to explain? You're calling from a radio station? Yes. And I can tell you how we got your number. Uh, I can tell you why we're calling. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, please do. How did you get my number? Okay, so we got it from a guy. He gave us your number because he would love to take you out on a nice date. So what we're doing, we're calling you to offer you a date wherever you would like to go. Okay, you pick the place. You pick whenever you're free to go, all that stuff. And basically, we'll pay for the whole thing. We'll reserve the place, the who, time. Who is, this, who is this guy? Who's the guy? Okay, well, you, I'm going to tell you who the guy is, too, because you know him, okay? His name, his name is Jimmy. Jimmy? Jimmy. Oh, no. No. No, I'm good. Well, no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm not going to force you to take the date, but just for closure, for Jimmy's sake, so we can have something to get back at him and tell him, um, why exactly? Because he thought that your date went amazing. He said that perhaps you wouldn't want to see him again because you almost felt a little intimidated because the first date was so... Oh, my God. Intimidated? <laughs> Can no. You, can you please? He's a thug. Uh, I, well, I'm very curious uh, as to why because he was thug. he was convinced that he that you literally were intimidated by how great oh the date God. and how much by all the money he had. He had no money. He had none. What the? F uh, we went to a nice restaurant. It was expensive. Okay, maybe he was trying to impress me. He kept convincing me so confidently that he knew the owner and we weren't going to have to pay for dinner at all. So we leave. Unfortunately, I left my keys there and I had to go back the next day to get my keys. And when I got there, the owner was harassing me and saying, oh, you, you guys left last night. You didn't pay the bill. I had to pay a $300 bill myself. Really? Oh, what? Oh, you went back in? Oh, well, hold on a second. Wait, uh, d d Sharon, Jimmy's on the phone. You went back in? Oh, and, my God. And he, and he has heard that. This, this Jimmy. Guy, this you, come on, Jimmy. Go back in? What the I are you went doing? Out my keys. How was I supposed to know? You walked out on the bill, you sir. Oh, my God. What an idiot. Oh, you, damn, you <laughs> everything up. We would have got away with it free and clear if you wouldn't have went back in. Yo, dude. Damn. Wait, Jimmy, I thought you said you had a lot of money and, you know, you you, you classy dude, all that stuff. First off, a couple of things, all right? Um, right now, you know, I happen to be in between jobs. <laughs> if I'm being honest, you know, my application to lift is being processed right now. That's not the point. Um, when you go to oh, these fancy restaurants, first off, okay, nobody's really looking. Nobody's paying attention to you. So I figure we just walk out and no one's going to say anything. They don't really care. They make enough money. They don't care? <laughs> 
Oh. You would think they oh, really expensive think they do. restaurants, especially they care. Oh, God. Jimmy, you made it seem like you were a baller when we first talked to you. I am. Dude, I'm the man, okay? But right now, you know, I'm in your job. So I, I did what I had to do. It would have been perfect if she would have took her ass back in there. Right. Okay, well, I can guarantee. I my keys. Sharon, <laughs> it, it, it sounds like a misunderstanding. <laughs> Um, uh, what? Please. Listen, listen, Sharon. I can guarantee for the next date that we will pay, so you don't have to worry about having to get busted or anything. We'll pay for wherever you want to go. I might have to worry that he's going to steal from me. I'm not going to see this guy ever again. Thank you very much. Steal from you? I don't want anything from you, girl. I only steal from hotels, grocery stores, restaurants, and I keep a couple things. All- the second date update on the tent. We say mornings at six ten, seven ten, and eight ten. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up crew at hot ninety. Want to know? This is the second date update on the tent with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa. The Get Up Crew. Hot ninety six nine. Hi Bianca. Hi. How can we help you? Um. Okay, so I I met this guy. We really hit it off, and we've been, like, texting back and forth, and we went out on a couple dates, and everything was going really, really well. And now it's just, like, nothing, like, complete ghosting me. Mm-hmm. And I want to know what's up. Okay, I mean, well, tell us what's up. What happened last time you guys hung out? Uh, it, I mean, he picked me up. He, like, he was a real gentleman and picked me up at my house. And then we went to, like, dinner and a movie. And it was just going really, really great. And he took me back and came inside for a little while and met my son, mm-hmm. uh, which was a really big deal for me. And then that was it. Like, honestly, he, he kind of, like, rushed out the door and I never heard from him again. I hate to say this, but you're going to have to do the mirror test. Let's look around your house, and is there anything that, you know, you might have left out or he might have seen or that might be hanging from the ceiling or leaking out from under the couch that he, he might have seen and said, I got to get the hell out of here? What are you trying to say? Oh. I'm saying, you know, okay, how about this? Do you have, and this, this yeah. goes for me too, I have a dog, and I know that if somebody comes in my house, they're going to get a hint of dog. I just don't know it because I smell it every day. You're immune same, to it. Same thing with cat people. Right. So do you have, like, maybe an animal or something like that, and there's a smell of that animal that he was not, you know, he was turned off by? He wants to know if your house is funky, bottom line. <laughs> yeah. Does it smell like shit? My house is not funky, okay? Um, and I'm, no, it was like I went to the bathroom, um, and he was with my son. Did you go and... to the bathroom with the door open and take a massive? Sh- oh my god! Damn. Um, <laughs> all right, we're, so stay quiet. We're gonna try and call him right now, okay? Hello. Hi, is this Anthony? Um, yeah. Uh, Anthony, um, sorry for waking you up. I feel like we woke you up. Uh, it's Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot ninety six nine, the radio station. And I can explain to you why we're calling you if you just give us a chance real quick. It's good. Uh, okay. If it's good, okay. Okay, it's good. So we got a phone call from a young lady who would love to take you out on a date. She has she has feelings for you. So what we're willing to do is pay for a date for you guys to go out and get to know each other better. Um, you can pick the place. You can pick the date, the time, whenever you're free. And, again, we'll set it up. You guys meet up. See if you hit it off. If you do, great. If not, whatever. Never see her again. You have a nice free meal on us. What do you think? Man, I, 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 I'm, I'm good, man. I'm, I, I appreciate it. I, wait, wait. I I'm, I'm going to. No, no, no. Wow. But, but I'm going to tell you the lady's name, okay? And I, and I want. Like, I, I think I know, but all right. You think you know? Yeah. <laughs> if it's the same lady, I'm very curious as to why. You left okay. her house immediately after getting home with her. Her name is Bianca. Yeah, yeah that's the one. Yeah, no, nah, man. I like, she's she's cool. Like I, I got nothing against her. I just I I can't, man. Sorry. Oh, can, can I can I ask you the obvious question? The obvious question is, what did you find in her house? Because she explained to us that you basically walked in her house and then rushed out. So. I, I, and I explained to her, I said, that means that you saw something or you smelled something or you stepped in something or you touched something that Yo, turned you off. 
just you know, look, man, it's just maybe maybe it's just better off if we just don't. You know what I mean? Like, well, what? Well, just say what it is. Look, no, no. If you say what it is, then we can go. Just we can tell her, and she'll get her closure, and you don't have to go out with her. So, like, she she told me she had like a like a fourteen year old kid, and I was like, all right, cool, whatever. And then this. I don't know, like, friggin' NBA player comes around the corner. Dude is, like, six, 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 seven, this friggin' monster <laughs> comes around the corner and basically tells me that, it, 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 like, as soon as she's away for a second, tells me that if I ever, like, talk to her again or if I touch his <laughs> mom, that he would f***ing kill me. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm sorry, that's yes. funny. I just need to clear this up. You're not going to see her again because her 14-year-old son threatened <laughs> to kick your ass, and that scared you. Not just her 14-year-old son. Her 14-year-old Frankenstein-looking, like, Debo mixed with LeBron James, <laughs> like, <laughs> giant <laughs> freakazoid, okay, man. The dude was... Whoa, hold on, stop. Uh, 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 Bianca's on the phone, Anthony. She heard what you just said. Oh, kid like a horror movie like monster he's 14 years old what's wrong with you he's he's he, he threatened me and he's huge a 14 year old <laughs> and what you're just gonna just ghost me i want to live bro sorry <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what exactly did did he say to you he said that if i ever touched his mom that he would <laughs> me up <laughs> you're an adult He's a 14-year-old kid. You're really scared. Yeah, exactly. So he won't do any time. So is this a no to another date, Anthony? Uh, maybe That's a big no. Yeah, hard no. No, maybe you Sorry. guys could all go all together. We'll pay for an extra person. Um, oh, yeah. And, you guys and bring all the get son to, along, too? Yeah, you guys could all get to know each other. Yeah. No, I'm good, man. I have no interest in having my head shoved up my own ass. The second date update on the 10th. Weekday mornings at 610, 710, and 810. If you need a second date update, email us. Get up, Drew, at Hot 96.